What is up, Cine Daisies? Welcome back. I'm Machara Cook, joined by Carolina Sofia. And we are checking out a village cooking channel video. I freaking love this channel. Have you ever watched any videos from them before? Not from this channel, but you know that I love food. As you should. Food <laughs> is life. Our food gives us life, and food makes life worth living. So this one we're watching is called Jackfruit Mutton. Have, do you like jackfruit? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I'm not a picky eater at all. I like everything. Okay, so great. Well, yay. I love people who are open to everything. Yeah. This one is raw jackfruit mutton gravy cooking in village. Spicy mutton recipe mutton curry. So the fun thing about these videos is like it literally is what it says on the tin. It's village cooking channel. They cook in a village and they cook like a large amount of food. Mm -hmm. Like it's insane. I can't wait for you to watch this. So you guys, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon on all notifications and upvote this video. Let's get into it. I love this guy. They're so excited about food. Like, I've never cooked with that amount of like raw ingredients ever. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, is that to like make it cut smoother? Wow. Oh, when they said raw jackfruit, I didn't realize they meant like actually like a young jackfruit. Because I've only ever had jackfruit when it's like ripe, right? Mm -hmm. And it's yellow. Mm -hmm. um, although here in the States, it's super popular for vegans to have it instead of meat, yes. um, which blows my mind because growing up, I always just had it as fruit. I was like, what? Um, but this I have never seen. This is wild. Like, I wonder how that actually tastes. I'm so curious because like when you have like a a green mango or a raw mango, it's really sour. Yeah. And so I wonder if that's kind of like the flavor that we're going for here. I'm assuming when they cook it, it also like changes the, the taste. Yeah, probably. So what we've got, uh, is that turmeric, you guys? Cumin? No, I'm just saying randomly. Turmeric, isn't it? Ooh, okay. this I love. I want one of those things. This is so satisfying. Yeah. The sounds. The too. ASMR. Yeah. Oh, we're doing some like in the ground cooking. Amazing. That's so hypnotic. Raw jackfruit. Yeah, I guess they had to um, soak it to get all of that, like, whatever that stuff was coming out of it. Yeah. So, yeah, turmeric paste. There we go. Salt. It's just wild looking at the proportions because I'm so used to cooking for like a maximum of four people. Yeah. <laughs> but this has to be better. Like sometimes I dislike the fact that I only cook for myself because I feel like I can't have as many ingredients. Yeah, like I don't it's waste. Harder. I end up like having to waste sometimes and I hate that. So I keep my meals simple because I don't have enough people living with yeah. me. So I'm like, that's true. I get so much satisfaction out yeah. of cooking for more yeah. people than just for myself, for sure. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, cry me a river. <laughs> wow, it's a cool shot. Ooh. Yeah, so satisfying. So now what? Do we take it out? Is that what happens? Oh, here comes the mutton, which honestly isn't my favorite type of meat, but I actually, in Indian food, it's, I think it's like the only time that I actually, 
I'm okay to eat mutton. I think it's because like it's so well spiced. Mm -hmm. It's prepared so well and it's cooked for a long time that it doesn't taste like super gamey. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like really tender. I feel like mutton isn't as popular in Western cooking as it is in other countries. And was that some awful I saw? Like some, what is that like? Heart. Ooh. Yeah, can't go wrong with onions. Love them. He looks so happy, just like stirring. Wow. Whoa. So much. Wow. <laughs> so much ginger and garlic. I have to remember the order that this goes in because I feel like I always screw up the order when I'm trying to cook stuff like this. Yeah, we should oh. be taking notes right now. <laughs> Ooh. Also, probably a good idea to like keep the green chilies whole so that you don't accidentally eat one without meaning to because I've done that before and it's painful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but I love him. I know. That's the thing. It's like, I don't I don't need his energy. His energy is so great. He could so be great. saying like the worst things ever, and I'm like, yay. <laughs> he's like the sweetest. I know. Damn. It's like, so well mixed. Drop it in there. We haven't put the jackfruit in yet. It must come at the end after the meat is cooked. Wow. There's definitely something very satisfying about watching food cooked in these quantities. More salt. Mmm. chilies. More water. I learned a new word. Tande. It's quite saucy right now. Okay, we're gonna simmer. I was gonna say, I like it I like less stuff. wet. Mm-hmm. How's it looking? Still quite wet. Maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. Oh, more. Wait. Okay. All right, all right. This is looking good. I like the color. Here we go. So curious. Let it reduce. I don't know. I like my <gasps> raw mango. Are we doing a raw mango garnish, please? <laughs> please. No. I'm so disappointed. I just want someone to get as excited to see me as you just did about that. Maybe. About a raw mango. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I love food and especially mango. Okay, that looks quite yummy. Kids, what's going on in the background? <laughs> We're filming a YouTube video. <laughs> Can you imagine Jabby would be like, children, <laughs> shh. Mm. Oh my God. Yum. He's like, uh, excuse me, I'm a professional ASMR food <laughs> YouTuber. I must show you the things 
before I eat. Oh my mom, my mom would absolutely love this video. She lives for food videos. I think he just said the mutton was good, using many, many words. <laughs> so good, so flavorful. And this, this is the awesome thing that they do after they finish cooking, they like share it with the community, usually with like, um, I guess they're feeding maybe like elderly people right now, like at an old person's home or something, I'm assuming. We'll find out at the end of the video. But I love that. It's like, they get a nice meal. There we go, old age home trust office. Just giving back to the community. I oh, I love this channel. I freaking love this channel. They're so good. What did you think about the food? I wish that smell and taste were the, like we could transport that. Like it seems so good, but it's like, you know when you look at something, you kind of feel like you can kind of tell how it's gonna feel like to the touch. Yeah, maybe, like you maybe can visualize it. Yeah. yeah, but I'm like, oh, I really want to picture like how that tastes, and it feels like it looks like it's gonna taste amazing, and I'm yeah. jealous, and now I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I wish I could like transport myself. Yeah, especially when it comes to stuff that like I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Like I, I have a I have a really big curiosity for food and I will probably try most things once mm -hmm, me just too. just to try it. I mean there are certain things where I might draw the line. Like when we were in India I saw like I want to say like goat brain or something on mm -hmm. the menu and that's kind of where I draw the line yeah. at brains. But I will eat like a stomach a lung or like bone marrow or whatever whatever. Like I'll try that. But this is interesting for me because I'm like, I know what a ripe jackfruit tastes like. Mm. Like, what the hell does a raw jackfruit taste like? I suppose that I can imagine that probably the texture is like soft after boiling it yeah, and then yeah. boiling it again. But like, how does it elevate the food by yeah, adding yeah. in? Like, how does it the, mix in together? Yeah, like I'm so curious about that. So I would love it if you guys have actually tried any dishes with raw jackfruit. Just letting me know like what the taste is because that's the thing that's kind of blowing my mm -hmm. mind a little because I wasn't expecting when I picked this video to react to that when they said raw jackfruit, I just thought it, they meant, oh, like a fresh jackfruit, you know, like like uh, we'll just garnish this curry with yellow jackfruit that mm -hmm. I'm used to. And then here I'm like, oh no, it's, this is something completely different and my mind is blown. Yeah, if anyone can overnight one of those plates to us, Anyone knows the recipe? Yeah. Well, we know the recipe now. True. We just need a raw jackfruit. Can you raw make it? I feel like you're probably a better cook than I am. I could try. I get intimidated, especially with Indian food, because it feels like there are many steps and there's lots of prep involved. And like the times when I've made Indian food from scratch, that's kind of been the case. But then also, once you know what goes with what and in what order to put things in, like how they were doing it there mm -hmm. with like, you know, you cook these things first in the oil, then you add the onions, then you add like the garlic and the, the ginger and stuff like that. I always do it in the wrong order and so I burn mm. my garlic and it's like oh. a bad situation. So stay away from the kitchen for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like when I've tried to do Indian food from scratch, like once you know the rules, like what goes with what and how to cook it, it I guess it's not actually that difficult and it tastes so much better than the sauces that you buy in the jar. Yeah. But I'm a lazy person, so that's what I use for the most part. But this looks really, really good. And I always love watching their videos because they're so just happy and feel good. And I love all of the people on the channel like doing all the cooking. Like they're so cute, especially grandpa. I'm <laughs> and just the fact gonna they're call doing grandpa. it for the community and they're doing something good out of yeah. it too. Like that's incredible. Yeah. I'm Amazing work. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you're hungry, go get a snack. And uh, we'll catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Carolina Sofia. Ciao.